Hello guys and welcome back. In this uh, presentation I'm going to show you how to uh, create an email account associated to your website and then forward it to the account that you normally use you know like I use uh, Hotmail and that's what I'm going to do. For now let's go into our domain name type in your domain name you know your name dot com or whatever your domain is dot com and cpanel at the end my domain carloscortez.biz slash cpanel once it gets you there you go ahead and log in Once you log in, it's going to take you into your cPanel account. Scroll down a little bit, you'll see uh, where it says uh, your mail options here. You can click on emails account. Right here, this is where you create your account. You type in your name. See, for now, I'm, I haven't created one for the Easy Green Online Profits. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to click here and then click on so that's my new email account and then I'll type in a password and then click on uh, I, I can click on limited or whatever I'm just gonna choose that and I'm gonna click on create account so my account has been created now once it's um, been created Go ahead and go to home, go to the C panel again, click on home over here, you're gonna click on forwarders. And you're gonna click on add forwarder. You're gonna address forward. Um, we're gonna type the one that I just did, Carlos, and I'm gonna your your domain's gonna be there, but I'm gonna choose this one over here. That's the email address that I want to forward, and I want to forward it to my Hotmail account. It says it's not valid, but let me click on it. I'm sure it is. I mean, I have everything in there. There we go. An email has been sent. Will now be copied to troubles999 at hotmail.com. Now, if uh, now you can click on go back or click on home. But that's what I want to show you. That's how you forward it over there to your email account. Now, if you have a Hotmail account, I have my Windows Hotmail account open. Now, if I'm over here, I could click on um, go to inbox right there. I'm just going to show you the steps that I take. I'm going to click on over here in options. Click on more options. And depending on what email account you have, it might be different. But this, I'm just showing you for Hotmail. Yours might be different, but the way you do it in cPanel remains the same. So over here, we can click on email forwarding. Sending and receiving emails from other accounts. I don't want to even forward this one. Add an email account. As you can see, I already have my Carlos at carloscortez.biz on there. So here I... You enter the email that you saved over there. And your password. And click on next. Let me uh, check something real quick. Okay, the problem I was having now is clicking on add an email account. I already have one. 
What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna click uh, add another account to send mail from. So I'm gonna click there and I'm gonna enter my email address there, which is this one there. I'm gonna click on send verification email. Now it's waiting for a verification, so I'm just gonna go to my inbox because I should be receiving it. See right there? I'm gonna go ahead and verify it. I'm just gonna go ahead and click on right there. It's gonna send a verification email. And that was that. If I click on my inbox, if I want to send a new email, the from, I could select, uh, uh, hold on, let me see here. The from, I could select anything. Okay, sometimes I forget, but when I'm send, sending an email, if I click there, I could choose how I'm going to send it. If I wanted to send it as this or as this. They'll receive it as this. If they send me an email to this account, I'm going to reply with this account. If they're going to send me an email from this account, I might reply from this one. But I usually use this one. And um, that's how you set up your email address to your HostGator account. I hope you enjoyed this. If you have any questions, uh, let me know. Go ahead and post there. Thank you very much. I'll see you on the other side when we start setting up the WordPress site configuring that is